Uh, this is, <coughs> I don't know why I'm filming this, but it's just, this is more like a vlog, I think. I'm getting things ready for uh, my welding class that's starting tomorrow night. And trying to figure out what to take, what not to take. We're not going to be welding tomorrow, but they said we could bring our protect protective gear if we want to. Uh, oh, got me a notebook. Take notes in class. And uh, I've got plenty of lenses. I'm going to, I think my uh, <laughs> mask is a little dirty. <laughs> So I'm going to change these out. Uh, this helmet, I'm going to throw it in my car. I'm not going to take it into class because I plan on taking my, my good helmet into class. But I'm going to check out the lenses on it. I don't think I'm going to need to change them out, but I'll take it apart and just check them. And uh, take me some earplugs. My safety glasses, prescription. I'll take a striker, but I'm sure they have strikers there. And I'm gonna clean this up and throw it in the car too, just with the other one. Because if I have problems, I can use, this will do cutting as well. You can knock it down to a five or four or something, a six. And uh, all the way up to I think 13. And I have a number five, I think, in this mask, but I'm going <clears> to <throat> make sure it's actually not looking too bad. I may just leave it like it is. I got tons of <sighs> extra <laughs> lenses. These are all just for the uh, for the Lincoln mask. <sighs> and uh, I made a trip to air gas <laughs> one day. <sighs> And get a few more of the Lincolns in case I need them. And then I picked up some large clear ones and some small clear ones. Oh, I got a new welding shirt. I think I take the uh, tag off it. So let's get some things cleaned up. Yeah, I got it all piled up here on the table. Yeah, I'll probably take me a soapstone. I got a small 12 foot. And my retractable striker. Those all just, I'll throw them in the bag. I gotta go find a bag. Oops. Now, this is a uh, Black Stallion flame retardant welding shirt. And it's supposed to hold up, the flame retardant was hold up to 50 washes. Um, of course, it's not like leathers, but I don't own any leathers and I didn't feel like buying any. I may have to get some someday, but I'm not going to right now anyway. I've always just had a welding shirt. It's always worked for me for years and years. And I've got another one up there that's probably 30, 40 years old. So this this is the one. I think it's going to be a pretty good shirt. I got a triple extra large, which is a little on the big side, but I wanted it to uh, be big enough to put over layers of clothes. So. Get into this. We've got little twist tabs here on the back. I don't know if you can see all that in there or not. From the back side, you twist and unlock that, and it pops up. And you have 
hard filter. It just pops out. So that's what was in there. Well, inside here it says top, has top up there, and then the bottom has an R for right. <clears throat> but I could not find like a right and left on these. But they do have a top. It says top. I don't know if that'll come out or not. Right, the very top up there. It says top. It's probably an easy way to do this that I don't know about. But you have to work the edge of this lip into this groove. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Just pop right in. Then you slide this thing back down, make sure the straps are out of the way so that it goes over top, top of that. And then you come underneath, you twist that little bar Done. Before, after, before, after. <laughs> I got a link to this below. Uh, I'll put one. I had an old link. I'll see if I find my old link where I bought these. This is on Amazon. They're the uh, small Miller um, units, respirators. And just like the other one, I'll just show it. Top and left. <clears throat> There's probably instructions in there on how I'm supposed to do that. Hey. Instructions are so overrated. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I actually read a lot of instructions. Just because I have in my many years of putting stuff together, I have completely destroyed stuff by not reading the instructions and found out, oh, you just had to do this one thing and I destroyed it. <clears throat> so, but these are pretty simple. Put that one in and twist. Yeah. Brand new. This is center one is just a plastic valve in there. And uh, not much to it. Anyway, that's the Miller. Uh, what model is it? Man, I need to wash this out. This is horrible. It's sitting on my wall, clicking dust and spider webs. This is an oh, and that came with something else. I think an old. Welder I bought or bought on an auction at an auction. And uh, I had a better, it wasn't an auto darkening, but I had a better mask that I used for, uh, probably at the time, it's probably 20, 25 years I used it. And somebody broke in my shop and stole everything, including my mask and my welder. So these just lift up into like a metal or plastic or something. It's plastic. Just pop that up. Then you just push this out from the other side. Oh man, it's stuck. Need to clean all this. All right, I'm gonna get rid of that old nasty thing. Now this is what I always use, which is a number 10 gold lens. <clears throat> Do not rub these. I will clean as my rag is, I will not rub these. I will probably, I probably won't do anything to this one, but if I clean it at all, I will go up under soap and water, I'll just run water over it, put some soap on it, make sure my hands are real clean, and then I'll just lightly get the scum off of it. 
I'm going to get rid of these. Two. Gotta be careful with this. I think I will go wash this. Be right back. Okay. <clears throat> when I took just a little bit of dish soap and I've got the inside of a clean paper towel. Uh don't like this. it all down and <clears throat> put it in one side of this first and the other side and it'll be even on both sides and just push that down and that holds it in place. Is in there, then you can just pick this up and up. It's really not all that bad through there. I think I'll just leave it for now, keep them extra lenses. That's it. That's it to a ten and there's a switch at the top. You flip it over and it makes sure the knobs 
five through, or yeah, five through eight, and you flip it to that way, and it goes to the nine through thirteen. So I've got it down there on the ten. Sensitivity, and I just put it at the me medium, and then delay. You got you got an S and an L, short and long. I've got it toward the shorter side, so it's not much of delay. And that's after you finish welding, how quick it comes back. I had it in the middle, and this is my first auto darkening lens, so uh, I just went used to it for the longest time, even probably still today. I'll lift the I'll lift the hood up, and uh, I'll lift the hood up. As soon as I finish welding, I lift the hood up to see my weld. I'm not used to waiting it, you know, because I was taking this hair longer, so I moved it to a shorter delay so it'd clear up, basically before I'd have a chance to lift my hood up. But uh, I'm going to. I've got a magnifier in there, which I don't know if I'll keep it in there or not, but I'll leave it in there for right now. And you're supposed to take this unit out like this before you put a magnifier in. I think I read that instruction somewhere. Oh. oh, should have brought me out some clean cloths. Been taking off this and hope these inside pieces are fairly clean. Of course, this is a clear coat. It's just dust on this, so you don't have to worry about it. That side's real nice because it's got an outside shield. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and take that out. I need to wipe that off, too. This is a one and a half magnifier. Uh, not sure how that's working. <clears throat> Just pushing in from the back side. Lift that out. Takes the glass up. <clears throat> and then this slips out from around here. It's got a little bit of a curve to it. It seems weird that they have to tell you to remove the protective film before installing. But I guess there's some people that won't. Just work all that inside that lip. That's it. <clears throat> There's a couple bumps here. These go toward the inside. Just shove it down in there. And 
I'm gonna I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna put the magnifying back on. It has got that little those little holders are made for those. <clears throat> those little notches. They slide up inside there. There's little holes. It pushes down and that pushes out. And this pushes out. And they're locked in place. This really helps keep things clean. That's it, just a quick going through, changing my lenses, covers, my clear lenses out of my welders, changing the filters on my mask, getting all my stuff together for my class. So, <clears throat> we'll see how this goes.